The reason we test at Ayaplog is because it's so extreme. It's just south of the Arctic Circle. It can get to minus 40. It's as slippy as it gets. And Range Rover Evoque needs to cope well. The best thing about the Range Rover Evoque is the overall ability of the vehicle. To me, it is the complete vehicle. It'll tackle any obstacle you put in front of it with Range Rover prowess and cutting edge technology a second to none. The surface under the wheels is a mixture of packed snow, polished ice, some deep ruts and some elements are very sleep and this vehicle takes it all in its stride without missing a beat. Hill descent control is improved for Range Rover Revoke in many ways. The first is an improvement in refinement and target acceleration, which means that hill descent control is now incredibly smooth under every single circumstance. Also a new feature is a target speed display on the instrument pack, which shows the driver the target speed range they can select, and also the target speed that they have actually selected. Dynamic stability control is a safety function which is constantly monitoring the vehicle's attitude and comparing it to the driver's intended direction. As soon as the vehicle starts to understeer or oversteer, dynamic stability control intervenes by controlling engine torque and controlling brake pressure on the appropriate corner to modify the vehicle's attitude and bring it in line with the driver's intended direction. If I switch dynamic stability control off, it's very easy to get the car into an oversteer situation or an understeer situation. The driver has to work much harder to follow the intended path. Romeo Tango Zero wants track control, leaving the test lane now over. The surface we're approaching now is the worst case test for traction control system on any vehicle. It's a 28% steep slope with a split mu surface. This is a heated tarmac side on the left-hand side of the vehicle and a polished ice side on the right-hand side of the vehicle. The traction control system ensures that we target the optimum engine torque for pulling away the slope and also that the wheel spin on the right-hand side of the vehicle where the wheels have no grip are transferred across the axle to the wheels with most grip and the car ascends the slope. The hill start assist function on Range Rover Evoque has two elements to it. The first occurs when the driver brings the car to rest on a slope that he wishes to ascend. The driver generated brake pressure is held in by the hill start assist function when the driver releases the brake pedal such that the driver can then generate enough engine torque on the accelerator pedal to ascend the slope. The second function is a safety feature that stops the vehicle from careering out of control down the slope. So in the situation where there's a failed hill climb, the vehicle speed is capped at 5 km an hour to allow the driver to reapply the brake and regain control of the vehicle before attempting the ascent again. Range Rover Evoque's appeal is there for everyone to see. And again, on all surfaces and all terrains, the vehicle is completely capable, very composed, and will tackle anything that you guys put in front of it.